In Creole Parametric, you can unpattern a pattern, but only under specific conditions. Unpatterning a pattern is where you get rid of the pattern feature and definition itself, but you keep all the individual instances and the features that were patterned. Let's take a look at how to do that. The first condition for unpatterning a pattern is that the pattern either has to be a pattern of a pattern or a group pattern. A group pattern can be for a local group. For example, if you select a feature and then use the group command, or if you bring in a user defined feature, let's use that method. I will click on the user defined feature command and it goes to my group directory. I will use the first one in my list. Here we have the insert user defined feature dialog box. I'm going to use the advanced reference configuration to define the location of these features. Let me click the OK button. And for locating my user defined feature, I'm using an on surface coordinate system. Let me use the right mouse button to get to my offset references collector. And I'll dimension it from this surface. Hold down the control key and select the side surface as well. And let's double click on the numbers in order to change them. Use a value of 50 there and a value of 50 over here. And everything is good. Let's see, let's see for the body. It automatically selected body one. That's good. Options, I'm happy with all of these. Here you can see all the features that will be brought in. Adjustments. I don't need to adjust anything. Everything looks good in the preview. I will hit the check mark in order to complete the feature. And so there you have it. I have a group in my model now. If I expand the group, you can see all the features that are located within that group. Now I will click on the name of the group in the model tree and create a pattern. The next major condition for being able to unpattern a pattern is that there are only three kinds of patterns that you can use. It can either be a dimension pattern or a reference pattern. Right now reference is grayed out for me or a table pattern. I will leave the default dimension pattern. Let me pick the first dimension to increment and I will use an increment of 150 and let's create three instances. And I could create this pattern and then I'd be able to unpattern it or I could pattern this and then pattern it again, but I'm just going to create a pattern in two directions. Let me find that other 50 dimension. I'll use a spacing of 250 in this situation. Once again, I will create three of these and I will use the preview dot to turn this one off. Let me hit the check mark. And with that, I have a pattern of my group. And so now I can click on the pattern feature, then hold down the right mouse button. And here I have the unpattern command. And again, just want to repeat those conditions. It either has to be a pattern of a pattern or a pattern of a group. And it can only be a dimension pattern, a table pattern, or a reference pattern. So when I choose unpattern, well, the pattern feature is no longer in the model tree. I have all my individual instances. And so you could take one of these and you could choose to suppress it if you wanted to, and it would go away. Let me bring it back. I will right click on it and go to the resume command. And you could alter any of the individual features within one of the groups because they are no longer part of the same pattern. So there you have it. That's how you use the unpattern command in Creo Parametric.